With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone, a fluid is flowing through a horizontal pipe. Right, so the pipe is horizontal, varying cross section with a speed v meter per second at a point where the pressure is p pascal. Another point where the pressure is p by two, and the velocity is v meter per second. And if the density of the fluid is given here rho, then you have to find out the capital V value. So if you write down the Bernoulli's theorem for this horizontal pipe, so let's see the horizontal pipe. Let's suppose this is the horizontal pipe. And it is said that at one point the velocity is V at an at, at another point the velocity is capital V and pressure decreased there also, right? So pressure decreased and the velocity is capital V and this is the velocity small v. And uh, here the pressure is P by 2 and here the pressure is P. Right? And it is said that this is the horizontal pipe. So if I apply the Bernoulli's theorem, so from Bernoulli's theorem we know that P plus half rho V square plus rho G H is constant for a continuous streamlined flow. Right? So here it, it, this is a horizontal pipe. So this uh, we, will become also constant rho G H for the 2 will be same here so i will write p1 plus rho v1 square by 2 is equals to p2 plus rho v2 square by 2 now you can put the p1 and p2 value initially the pressure was p and fi uh, finally the pressure changed to p by 2 so p1 is p and uh, the initial velocity was small v and uh, p2 is capital v plus rho and if you see finally the velocity is capital V whole square so I will write rho capital V whole square is equals to P by 2 plus rho small v whole square so this will be cancelled out and if you divide the whole expression by rho then you will get capital V square is equals to P by rho plus v square so taking under root both side then you will get capital v is equals to under root of p by rho plus v square and this will be the velocity at the cross section where the pressure is p by 2 so this will be our answer now you could match the option right so p under root p by rho plus v square so d is the correct one right under root p by rho plus v square Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.